What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today we get our first sneak peek at the new uniforms for these two characters that we're looking at right now, and a new character that's going to be coming into the game. So I'll go ahead and bring up that form, and you guys can see right here we have Icarus, we have Cersei, and we have Makari. Now Makari is going to be a new character, and I gotta say, I said Icarus. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. He doesn't look anything like the actor at all in the movie he doesn't look nothing like him like like i don't like usually the artistry is really really amazing like like Gemma here she looks amazing like this is freaking like like they didn't they it's almost like they they looked at Gemma chan they're like oh my god she's so beautiful we, we gotta we gotta make her perfect and icarus will just kind of you know whatever i don't know that actor's name forgive me but they just kind of threw him out the window and just drew in some other dude here i don't know who this guy is they don't look anything like the actor uh, Makari does look a lot like uh, her, but pretty cool. I mean, I got to say, guys, you know, really, when I look at this, I mean, I'm excited for Icarus getting the uniform, but Gemma, Cersei here, waifu, waifu, waifu. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So let's read these comments, man. Let's see how this is going. So we got 46 likes, love, and just a few dislikes. So really, really positive, which is awesome to see. And then we got... What do we got here? Haha, ha, Icarus looks like Scott Eastwood. <laughs> oh, Richard Madden. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, hopefully we're going to get a uniform. And for Athena and the rest ones, yeah, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we're going to get a bunch of new characters because right now all we have is Cersei and Icarus. I mean, we, we do know we're getting an epic quest. And, I mean, it makes you kind of wonder if Makari is actually going to be the Crystal Wall character, right? Is she going to be the Crystal Wall character? I mean, we'll see. And, uh, the, okay, I'm not even going to try to read that. Don't understand. I'm waiting for Black Friday uniform sale. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you really just got two uniforms. Mainly, we're just going to get a bunch of new characters uh, in this update, right? I mean, we just, all, all we have right now is Cersei and Icarus as far as Eternals. So, we don't really have to worry. I don't think we all have to worry too much about a bunch of uniforms. Unless they do one of them deals where we get characters and then we get uniforms on top of that for the same character. I mean, they have done that stuff before in the past. This guy's got like an entire paragraph here, which I'm not even going to read. Uh, waiting for the next pass notes. Yeah. I feel like the person that did this never seen what Icarus looks like from the movie. <laughs> and someone just tried to explain his face to them. Yeah, it, it does, right? It does. It does. I mean, you're just like, what? I mean, it don't look nothing like him. And there's another one criticizing Icarus's looks. I guess I'm not the only one that feels that way. Why Icarus looks less accurate? From Richard Madden, I mean, because if the dev made him look accurate, we couldn't tell the difference between him and... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's probably what it is. That's probably what it is. That's probably what it is. Pretty awesome, man. Really, really exciting, man. I, I mean, I like... The artwork looks really good. I mean, their, their uniforms look... Really, really awesome, you know. They look just like they do in the movies, right? You know, from all the trailers that I've saw, seen. They look amazing. Makari does look really great. Gemma looks awesome. They did it. They did it. I mean, this, like I said, this artist, man, they had the, they had the picture of Gemma, Gemma's face in their brain. And they're like, Gemma, 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 right? And Icarus, they're like, bleh, bleh. you know, that's pretty much. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it, it's, it's a good picture. But it doesn't look like Richard Madden, right? It doesn't look like him at all. But I mean, okay, whatever. It's probably going to be OP. More than likely, he's going to get a tier three. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I got to tell you guys, though, like, I'm probably more, whoops, I'm probably more excited for Cersei than I am Icarus. And the only reason being is because Icarus is a paywall character. I mean, that's kind of the thing that sucks about this guy is that you have to do the biometric daily to get him. And that is a bummer. I mean, he's a solid character. He's awesome. I mean, this guy proved to be really good in PvP, just a tier two, you know, thanks to his decreased damage received by 30%, thanks to his iframes. I mean, he's got to ignore target dodge. I mean, he's really, he's a really solid character, right? He's got to ignore uh, iframe on his fourth skill. I mean, he's a, he's a bad dude. He really is. And on my free-to-play account, which I've been slacking on for some time now i might make another video about that but this guy like i've been using him in pvp that's all my world boss clears and you know even with crappy cars and just 
crappy account, this guy murders. He does amazing. I mean, his survivability is insane thanks to his heals. Uh, he's got the native super armor. He's got an amazing leadership. And I'm wondering if they're going to buff up his leadership. I mean, he's already got 60% increase to eternal allies. Like, are they going to give him 65%? 70%? I mean, they could. That'd be pretty cool, right? I mean, it sucks that he's a paywall, but I mean, it is what it is. Never always got to make their money, right? But let's get to the, the queen here, which is good old Cersei. Now, I actually love the base kit look. I mean, she's she's just so beautiful. She looks gorgeous, right? I'm going to enlarge that a little bit. Look, 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 look at that face. That's beautiful. But let's be honest. Let's be honest. Gemma, Gemma. I'm a Gemma fan, guys. I can't help it. I'm a Gemma fan. I love her. I love her. But this character here is, I mean, Cersei's sick. Cersei is probably, I mean, she's one of the best free, easily one of the best, if not the best free to play character in the game. She is, uh, she is dope. You know, she's got to increase all basic attack by 30% to all eternal allies. So what I pray to God they don't do is give her this uniform, right? And she'll still have this passive. Maybe they'll increase the passive and then she'll just be relegated to a support. I'm going to be a little upset if she's just a support because I am a fan. Cersei, I love Cersei, but I just want Gemma Chan to be awesome. You know, if I'm playing with a character that looks like Gemma Chan, I want to have some fun with her. You know, that's just a personal preference. And I mean, but she does have, you know, paralysis. I mean, she's just a super strong character. She's got the damage accumulation based on the damage you take. And you guys know how I feel about this form of accumulation. On Sharon Rogers, it's really good. But on most characters, it can be a bit of a hinder because they never really set up these characters to where they can just pause, take a bunch of damage, and go into their skills, right? They don't really set them up that well. I mean, if you... Well, I mean, you could just hit a skill and as long as you're not in an iframe, you could take damage while you're accumulating. That's That still would be really, really good. Like Doom's third skill, I mean, that would be fine. That is a, I mean, that is a complaint I have for the character. I mean, even, even if she doesn't accumulate damage, she still does a lot of damage. And then she has like six seconds of immunity on this thing. And she's got, you know, the nice heals. She's got invincibility in a four. The girl's got an insane amount of survivability. However, the charm will not work in World Boss Legends. So that is something to keep in mind. But I mean, she's got the all defense down, which again, won't work in World Boss. But I mean, Cersei's got a lot, a lot of raw power. And then she has the activation rate when debuffed, applies to all eternal allies, removes all debuffs. So it is a possibility that, you know, especially with Icarus being as good as he is right now at just a tier two, like if he gets to tier three, which I feel he will be a tier three, he's going to have a lot of extra native stats. He's going to be way better. He's going to have a higher HP pool. He's a universal character, so he should get some really good stat bumps. So like she might be, and, and on top of, you know, having her passive here, she might be a, a must have on the eternal team on the eternal team for pvp right i mean she might be a god to have with him i just hope that she's more than just a support man i really really hope so i honestly like i don't know how y'all feel about it here's the thing man there's a lot of eternal characters and they might split this update into two different updates i don't really know what they're going to do there's a bunch of them there's a bunch of them it's really a lot to take in if they do all of them uh it's a lot so I'm not really sure who they're going to bring in right now, if they're going to do two separate little updates uh, for the Eternals because there's so many of them. I mean, all we know right now is that we are getting Makari. And yeah, and by the way, speaking of Makari, Makari, you know, she's like a uh, Quicksilver. She's super, super fast, uh, super, super quick. And uh, so, you know, I can imagine we'll be seeing, she, she might probably be a speed character more than likely. That's kind of what I'm predicting. I'm predicting she's probably going to be speed more than likely. And that's the other thing, you know, how many of these characters are going to get awakened skills? How many of them are going to get tier threes? Uh, you know, we all usually have a mid-month tier three patch. So I'm predicting Icarus will probably get a tier three first. And then who knows? Like, I, I want Cersei to get a tier three, but I mean, there's always an argument for awakened skills. I mean, in a way, awakened skills are better because as soon as you bring your character into the world boss or whatever content, your awakened skills ready. You don't have to build up to it. You can just use it and do a crap ton of damage. So in a way, it's a it's a big advantage, you know, like especially when you're playing, you know, you use your awakened skill, you switch to another character, do a bunch of damage. And then later on, after 30 seconds, you can switch back to your, your awakened skill character, use their awakened skill again and do insane damage. So we'll see how that plays out. But I mean, there is a tremendous potential 
for this update. I mean, a huge potential. Hopefully you all got your Cersei ready. Hopefully, I mean, I got mine. I got my potential ready to real. You know what, we'll just go ahead and realize it. There we go. Let's just realize your potential. It's not a big deal. And, you know, more than likely I will enhance the potential, but I'm just gonna wait and see how good the uniform is actually gonna be. And that's the other thing. In the Epic Quest, are they going to make us like awaken a character to fulfill certain requirements in the Epic Quest? I mean, right? Like we had to level up Beta Ray Bill in his Epic Quest, but that's something we're going to find out later on when we actually get the Epic Quest. I don't really want to speculate too much on that. And will we get new artifacts specifically for the Eternals? That might be something else to look out for in this next update, right? I mean, that, I mean, <laughs> they could do some craziness where like they give an artifact like what they did for Wolverine to make them pretty much unkillable because we see the PvP potential here. I mean, we'll see, guys. We'll see. I'm really, really excited, man. I thought that, uh, I, I just keep, I don't want to say Cersei. I keep wanting to say Gemma Chan, but you know, she looks absolutely amazing. I mean, Icarus, uh, uh, quality, not so good on his face in that picture, but still very, very excited for these characters. Let me know how you're all feeling about the sneak peek. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GT plus seven time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching y'all. Take care and have a good one. See ya.